Welcome back, everyone. Christopher Greider, the owner of Kissing Tree Vineyards in Bruce Eddy, is now in the custody of U.S. Marshals. A judge ordered today that he be taken to Washington, D.C. to be arraigned on all federal charges that he faces. Six News reporter Barry Roy spoke to Greider's attorney, and he has his reaction to the case. Uh Deeply disappointed in the decision. This is Brent Mayer, the attorney for Christopher Greider, a Bruce Villetti business owner who has been charged for his role in the riots three weeks ago at the U.S. Capitol. On Tuesday, a grand jury in the District of Columbia returned an indictment against Greider. That indictment listed seven counts against him. Two of them are felonies. Greider is facing a maximum of 20 years in prison. Wednesday afternoon, Judge Hightower in Austin denied Grider the chance to go home, citing him as a danger to society. Instead, remanding him to the custody of the United States Marshals for transport to Washington, D.C. You don't, you don't fix a tragedy by creating another one. Mayor says what happened three weeks ago was terrible, but his client's intentions need to be taken into consideration. When asked with all the evidence that places Grider inside the Capitol, is it clear that what transpired was criminal? It's not clear to say. You know, it, that's that's where we have to spend, that's what we're going to have to spend the next several weeks and months investigating is the why. You Mayor know, says Grider is not a part of any groups that were looking to overthrow the government or lead an insurrection, riot or damage anything. He also says the rest of the picture needs to come into focus and that he received new video evidence after the hearing, which shows things more clearly. Doesn't paint him out as, you know, a person who's screaming and yelling, you know, kill pants, you know, uh, stop the steal. It's unclear when Grider leaves for D.C., but Mayor knows one thing for certain. Let there be no doubt, there were some bad, evil people there, and those people need to be held accountable. There are people who do indeed need, are a danger to the community and do need to be locked up. Chris Grider was not one of those people. In Bruce Villetti, Barry Roy, 6 News.